you, Crow. Elizabeth Mooney is on the trail for clues at the north end of Lake Washington. That's her spine right there. She's investigating the death of someone she considers a friend. We want to know why it died here. That friend is named Samantha. Samantha the sturgeon. Mooney found the massive fish dead at Log Boom Park in Kenmore earlier this month. The sturgeon was eight and a half feet long, about 70 years old, and weighed three to 400 pounds. Sturgeon are native to Washington and date back 200 million years on this planet. No one knows how many live here, but everyone wants to know how this one died. When scientists examined the carcass, they found no evidence of injuries. Initial thoughts are that it may have died from warming Lake Washington waters or perhaps a parasite, but at this point, no one knows. She's giving us clues. You know, is that about toxins in the top end of the lake, or is it something completely different? Folks here at the north end of Lake Washington are concerned that Samantha the sturgeon could be the canary in the coal mine for the lake. It's because of toxics known to be in the waters here. They want testing done on the water and the sediment to see just how bad the situation is. Marina, whatever. Fish die of old age. Fish die of stress. Fish and wildlife research scientist Bob Pakunski says sturgeons are bottom dwellers and eat from the sediment on the lake floor. Tissue samples are being examined to determine what, if anything, may have poisoned Samantha. We may be able to see if there is any contamination in in the um, you know in the flesh in the fish. Um, maybe that had some contribution to its demise. Uh, hard to say. I think that's pretty good. Meantime, Elizabeth Mooney finds comfort in knowing Samantha's death will help shed some light about the conditions on Lake Washington's dark bottom. Her message from the deep has connected the community in ways that we humans haven't been able to um, conjure up. <laughs> in Kenmore, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.